where we are camping, it's free range. So ranchers pay the government to let their cattle free range on public lands. And um, there's a cow over there. Can you hear it? It's hilarious. <laughs> And the people in this group are just standing around watching it. And there's two over there. And uh, I don't know if the cow's in labor. I have no idea. I don't know if it's a, it's a bull or a, a heifer. Oh, it's a bull. Oh, I bet he's, well, for lack of a better word, horny. Because that's a bull over there too. That's a bull. Oh, maybe they're like going to have a... Here he goes. Look, see him? <laughs> it's like a freaking circus around here. Anyway, my dogs were losing their minds, but they the cows moved, so it's not so bad. I guess the one walking off is the one who lost the dejected cow or bull. <laughs> well, he's a cow, but he's a bull cow. Anyway, I thought that was funny, and I thought I'd share it with you. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Cow. Hi, everyone. Lainey here, and I am stuck again. Yes, yes, I am stuck in the mud. <laughs> I'm in Flagstaff because I need to get some work done on the front end of the bus that got damaged the last time I got stuck, and they couldn't fit me in until the 12th, and so I decided to just camp here outside of Flagstaff. I was hoping to be behind the pilot in Belmont, but surprise, surprise, that road is closed. It looks like they're building a subdivision there at the front of that road. And that whole entire road where so many of us nomads camp completely shut down, closed, barricaded, can't get down that road. So I came further down that road that runs along 40 toward the west, so west of the pilot. And I found a spot, which you'll see later in this video, that I was going to try to camp in before it got really muddy. Um, and it was covered in trash. And I've been having some pain issues for the last several days, and I didn't want to stay there because I didn't first of all, have the energy or the, I didn't feel well enough to pick up all the trash. And you'll see it was a lot of trash. I don't even know if I have enough trash bags to put all of that trash in. And then I didn't want the dogs getting in it. So I decided to come further down the road and you guessed it. <laughs> so all the snow is melting and the roads are very muddy and rutted. And I decided I didn't want to go any further down the road. And I thought, well, I'll just turn around. And it looked like it would be okay that I could just drive really fast through the muddy part and turn around and go out this other way. That's equally muddy. And nope, um, my back end, no problem. It's the front end that's stuck. And so... I'm just going to let the universe figure out what to do because I have no clue. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here. At least I'm off the main road. Um, there's a couple of people camped back here. They can still get past me to get out. So that's not a problem. And I guess maybe unless something else happens, I'll just stay here until it dries out. And fortunately, I have a little time to kill before I have to go in my appointment with the mechanic to get the estimate on the front end. And I also have some time to kill before my doctor's appointment. So, yeah, I am here for the time being until something changes. All right, I'm going to add more to the video, so I'll see y'all on the other side. Peace. Hello, everyone. I am in Belmont, just west on 40 from Flagstaff. This right here, when I was looking for a camp spot, this is what I found. This right here 
is the reason the Forest Service is cracking down on us. And making it almost impossible for nomads anymore. This makes my heart hurt and it makes me want to cry. So yeah, I am behind the pilot or west of the pilot and where we usually camp is nomads behind the pilot. That road is now closed completely and they are building houses it looks like, a subdivision. And so we're left with very few places to choose from and then we find this. And this right here, folks, this is why. And I know this isn't nomads. These are probably homeless people who had an encampment here, and when it got too cold, they just abandoned it. There's several tents, tarps, beds, shoes. Look at that. Shoes. Lots and lots and lots of trash. Yes, I will probably clean this up. I'm not feeling well right now, so I'm not going to do it today. And I'm definitely not going to camp here because my dogs would be into all of this shit. But, <coughs> I mean, it goes all the way back here. All the way back here. This is heartbreaking for me. <sighs> yep heartbreaking. Alright, I'm going to continue my journey trying to find a camping spot and then maybe some friends and I will come down here and clean this up in a couple days when I'm feeling better. <sighs> pack it in, pack it out. Leave no trace. So this is what is right outside my door. I found some 2 by 4s off the side of the road. Apparently other people have gotten stuck. Hi, Django, and have used these to get themselves out. I am currently using it as a bridge. And there, there it is. <laughs> Back tires are pretty okay. It's these two front tires. And it didn't look like this when I pulled in. It looked more like this. And I guess the weight of my bus just, yeah. So, um... My thoughts are, A, I wait here until it dries up, but it's pretty wet, so I might be here a week. And then B, this gentleman came down the road. He said he would try to pull me out if he could, but he didn't think his truck could handle the weight of my bus, so he apologized. He said he's pulled out a lot of people. But he said, because it's going to be below freezing tonight, that we will get a nice freeze and he suggests that I straighten my wheels early, early in the morning before... What are you dogs doing under the bus in all that mud? Ugh. You should see the floor of my bus. It's completely covered in mud. Anyway, he suggested that before the sun comes up, or right as it's coming up at dawn, that I take advantage of the frozen ground and straighten up my wheels and back right out of here. This guy, my neighbor Jay... He's going to be leaving uh, here in a few minutes. And so he suggested that I back up onto the road right here and then go forward and pull into his space because his is hardcore, solid ground. And so that's what I'm going to do. And keeping my fingers crossed that this happens. Peace. So Django and Juno think that they have something under the ground here. <laughs> what is it, Django? Did you get it? Nothing? It's nothing? Oh, I don't know. Juno's not too sure. Look. 
Juno's not too sure. She thinks maybe there might be something there. Why don't you give it a sniff? I love it when he sticks his head down in the and starts snorting. It's really funny. Puts his whole snout in the hole. Did you find anything, Django? Huh? Do you know? Oh, she's staring down something. What do you see? What do you see? Oh, now he's going to go after her. See? She's just determined to find a squirrel or a chipmunk or a mouse or something. <laughs> Jack wants the stick. You want the stick, buddy? <laughs> You want the stick? Is this, is this what you want? This this right here? This right here? This? This? <laughs> and now Django's going to get it. <laughs> yes, dogs are like children. Perpetually toddlers. Okay, he's at it again. Yes, Jack, I'm getting the stick. I'm getting it. Django has, look, he's got his head down in the hole. He's so hilarious. He's going to get that hole big enough that Juno can fit her whole body in it. Look at him. <laughs> oh, dude, you are so funny. This little guy's funny, too. You want the stick? You want the stick? You want it? You want it? Okay. Well, I got unstuck from the mud. Several dudes with a four-wheel drive truck and a tow strap came and yanked me out uh, um, night before last. So today I moved to this spot. And it's quite lovely. I'm on the northern side of Flagstaff now. And it's not muddy, so I'm very happy. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Peace.